Hello, this is Abuzar from Math Concepts channel. In this video, we derive the equation for tangent of addition of two angles based on tangent of individual angles. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about conceptual mathematics problems. We show that for any two angles alpha and beta, tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta equals tangent of angle alpha plus tangent of angle beta divided by 1 minus tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. As an example, let us calculate tangent of 75 degrees. 75 degrees equals 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Tangent of 75 degrees equals tangent of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Using the equation for tangent of addition of two angles, we have tangent of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees equals tangent of 30 degrees plus tangent of 45 degrees divided by 1 minus tangent of 30 degrees times tangent of 45 degrees. Tangent of 30 degrees equals square root of 3 divided by 3. Tangent of 45 degrees equals 1. Thus, tangent of 75 degrees equals square root of 3 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 minus square root of 3 divided by 3 times 1. A square root of 3 divided by 3 plus 1 equals a square root of 3 plus 3 divided by 3. 1 minus a square root of 3 divided by 3 times 1 equals 3 minus a square root of 3 divided by 3. Let us cancel out 3 from numerator and denominator. We get tangent of 75 degrees equals square root of 3 plus 3 divided by 3 minus a square root of 3. That is approximately equal to 3.73. Therefore, tangent of 75 degrees is approximately equal to 3.73. Please pause this video now and take a paper and pen and try to derive the equation for tangent of sum of two angles by yourself. As a hint, draw angles alpha and beta in unit circle with radius r equal to 1. Form right triangles ODC and ODE. Also form rectangle CFEH. Show that the length of segment HC equals to length of segment EF equals to tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. Also show that the length of side EH equals to length of side FC in rectangle CFEH equals to tangent of angle alpha plus tangent of angle beta. Also show that the length of side OH equals to length of side OC minus length of side HC. And length of side OC equals to radius of unit circle that is equal to 1. Then write the equation for tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta in right triangle OEH as the length of front side EH divided by adjacent side OH. Replace OH and EH from the above equations to find the tangent of addition of two angles based on tangent of individual angles. Let us draw angles alpha and beta in unit circle, the length of radius OA equals to length of radius OB equals to length of radius OC equals to length of radius of unit circle that is equal to 1. 
Let us draw line L perpendicular to line OC passing through point C. Line L intersects extension of line OA in point D. Let us draw line M perpendicular to line OD passing through point D. Let extension of line OB and line M intersect each other in point E. Let us draw line D parallel to X axis passing through point E. Line D intersects line L in point F. Line D intersects Y axis in point G. Let us draw line EH from point E perpendicular to X axis. Line EH intersects X axis in point H. Line segments EH and FC are perpendicular to X axis. Thus, line segment EH is parallel to line segment FC. Line segment GF is perpendicular to Y axis. Line segment EF is part of line segment GF. Line segment HC is part of X axis. Thus, line segment EF is parallel to line segment HC. In polygon CFEH, side EH is parallel to side FC. Side EF is parallel to side HC. Thus, polygon CFEH is a parallelogram. In parallelogram CFEH, front sides are equal to each other. Therefore, we have HC equals to EF and side EH equals to side FC. In parallelogram CFEH, angle H equals to 90 degrees. Thus, CFEH is a rectangle and angle F equals to 90 degree. In right triangle ODC, angle DOC equals to angle alpha. Angle ODC equals to 90 degrees minus angle alpha. In right triangle DFE, angle EDF equals 180 degrees minus angle ODC minus angle ODE. Angle ODC equals 90 degrees minus alpha. Angle ODE equals 90 degrees. Thus, the size of angle EDF equals 180 degrees minus 90 degrees minus angle alpha minus 90 degrees. That is equal to angle alpha. Therefore, angle EDF equals to angle alpha. In right triangles ODC and DEF, angle EFD equals angle OCD equals to 90 degrees. Angle EDF equals angle DOC equals to alpha. Angle DEF equals angle ODC equals to 90 degrees minus alpha. Therefore, two right triangles ODC and DEF have equal angles. Thus, they are similar to each other. Two right triangles ODC and DEF are similar to each other. In right triangle DEF, side DE is in front of right angle EFD. In right triangle ODC, side OD is in front of right angle OCD. 
Therefore, sites DE and OD are corresponding to each other. In right triangle DEF, site FD is in front of angle DEF that is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha. In right triangle ODC, site OC is in front of angle ODC that is equal to 90 degrees minus alpha. Therefore, sites FD and OC are corresponding to each other. In right triangle DEF, site EF is in front of angle EDF that is equal to angle alpha. And site CD in right triangle ODC is in front of angle DOC that is equal to angle alpha. Thus, sites EF and CD are corresponding to each other. Right triangles ODC and DEF are similar to each other. Therefore, based on Thales basic proportionality theorem, their corresponding sides are in proportion. We have DE divided by OD equals FD divided by OC equals EF divided by CD. In right triangle ODE, tangent of angle beta equals to the length of front side DE divided by to the length of adjacent side OD. We showed that two right triangles DEF and ODC are similar to each other. Thus, their corresponding sides are in proportion. We obtained DE divided by OD equals FD divided by OC. Note that the length of side OC equals to the length of radius of unit circle that is equal to 1. Thus, we have tangent of angle beta equals DE divided by OD equals FD divided by OC equals FD divided by 1 that is equal to FD. Therefore, we have FD equals to tangent of angle beta. In right triangle ODC, tangent of angle alpha equals to the length of front side CD divided by to the length of adjacent side OC. Note that length of side OC equals to the radius of unit circle that is equal to 1. Thus, tangent of angle alpha equals CD divided by 1 that is equal to CD. Therefore, length of side CD equals to tangent of angle alpha. We also obtained length of side FD equals tangent of angle beta. In rectangle CFEH, sides FC and EH are equal. Thus, we have EH equals FC equals CD plus FD equals to tangent of angle alpha plus tangent of angle beta. In right triangle DEF, tangent of angle alpha equals to length of front side EF divided by length of adjacent side FD. Let us multiply both sides of this equation by FD. We get EF equals to tangent of angle alpha times FD. We also obtain FD equals to tangent of angle beta. Substituting FD in the first equation, we have EF equals to tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. In rectangle CFEH, side EF equals to side HC. Therefore, we have side HC equals to side EF equals to tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. In right triangle OEH, tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta equals to length of front side EH divided by length of adjacent side OH. On line segment OC, 
length of sight OH equals to length of sight OC minus length of sight HC. Length of sight OC equals to length of radius of unit circle that is equal to 1. Thus, length of sight OH equals to 1 minus HC. In rectangle CFEH, length of sight EH equals to length of sight FC. Thus, tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta equals to EH divided by OH equals to FC divided by 1 minus HC. We obtain tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta equals to length of sight EH divided by length of sight OH. That is equal to length of sight FC divided by 1 minus length of sight HC. We obtain length of sight FC equals to tangent of angle alpha plus tangent of angle beta. And length of sight HC equals to length of sight EF equals to tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. Substituting HC and FC from these two equations into the equation for tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta, we get tangent of angle alpha plus angle beta equals to tangent of angle alpha plus tangent of angle beta divided by 1 minus tangent of angle alpha times tangent of angle beta. That is equation for tangent of addition of two angles. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel to watch and learn more about the conceptual mathematics problems.